Welcome to Straight Talk for Women Only. I'm Judy. I'm Janelle. And I'm Mary. And tonight we have a very lively show. Yes. Because our show tonight is titled, Why Men Don't Talk. We're going to tell you why they don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> so when we were talking about doing this show, I said um, to Janelle, mm -hmm. we're, we're going to talk about why men don't talk. And her husband said, I'll tell you why men don't talk. <laughs> and I said, why? And he said, because women don't listen. <laughs> Thanks, honey. And you said, <laughs> what did you say? We laughed. <laughs> we did. Oh, so that's funny. So tonight's show, one thing we want to make clear right across the board is this is not a show where we're going to be bashing men. Yes. Amen, that's right. Because I think once you hear that we're going to talk about why men don't talk it's like okay let's let's really dig in here and throw the stones at the men for what they're not doing right no. but you know what that's not what we're all about no. right because that's our right. shows are meant to be a blessing mm -hmm. to be an encouragement to speak wisdom yes give and insight mm -hmm. insight yep. into your lives Amen. and we don't want anyone to think, well, I'm not, I, I don't want to watch that show because all they did was talk down on the no. men. Mm -hmm. It's God's, it's based on biblical principles, so it's certainly never going to bash, right. put down anybody right. because that's not the God that we serve. So men that are watching, you don't Amen. have to be nervous. Our Amen. camera guy is just busting at the seams over he's there. Over he's over there excited. Praying. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you what his talk. wife said. <laughs> <laughs> His wife already said, well, that's not you, because mm -hmm. <laughs> he does talk. <laughs> but what we want to do in this show is we want to give you principles of the Word of God. We want to help the men that don't talk, mm -hmm. and we want to help the women whose husbands are... Um, not talking. Yeah, right. are not talking. And they don't know what to do. And they, they are talking, maybe they ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> just not, saying. That's not helping so the situation. Just take, helping. We don't want you to right. take what we're saying and then say, well, I found out on Straight Talk that you're not doing this. <laughs> yeah, blah, 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 blah. Well, that could be a very reason right there why well, men don't talk. Right, exactly. If a woman's if you're always nagging, nagging and, and fussing. Right, and, fussing yeah. and yeah. Who yeah. wants that'll, to talk to that? Exactly. That'll make them just draw back and draw back. Mm -hmm. and they will. They'll and go just, into just a solid silent. mold on you. Right. And, and just you, retreat. Right, that's what will happen. Because they don't want to be around that because the Word of God says it's better to dwell on the rooftop, the rooftop. Than, a nagging woman. than in the house in with the house. a nagging woman. That's, like, that's really rough. rough. So that Can you is imagine rough. going on a rooftop? Outside on the roof? What if it's winter? Well, the snow and the wind <laughs> and the what rain. What if it's raining or, or hailing? I'm telling you. <laughs> and you would that's rather a, what suffer. What a comparison, right? You would rather suffer on the roof than be than in the, the house, house with a so woman. So that tells us nagging. right away <laughs> that it's Don't not Don't do that. So that cool. lets us know nagging is not good. And nagging <laughs> will never bring the results. <laughs> I like that. It's how you're talking to one of your children. Nagging is not good. <laughs> and that will it's never bring good. the results that you're trying to achieve. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So if you want your husband to talk to you, don't nag. Don't. That's the first Amen. point. Don't nag. Okay, so Pastor Mar Mary. Yes. We're going to go back and you're going to let us know where did this even begin or, or how, did, how did we come to do this show? Well, actually, I do a lot of marriage counseling. And one of the things that I find out, one of the biggest uh, concerns with women is he just doesn't talk. He doesn't speak. He doesn't, he, I have to do everything, doesn't you know, communicate. communicate. Mm. That communication is really number one yeah. issue in, in marriages. And so that's one of the biggest areas. And I started noticing it. And, and then what really got me going was, wait a minute, holy Lord, if men are really called to be leaders, head of their home, you know, the ones that, uh, you know, you had 12 disciples and and, you know, they, they were leaders. And, I mean, how, how's a man supposed to be a leader, a head, high priest, and all these wonderful things that a man is and should be, mm -hmm. but yet he's not communicating? How can one lead and not communicate? Mm -hmm. And I just, that thing just kept bugging me. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to find out the answer, and nobody seemed to have the answer for me. So I, I let it go, and it come back to me again. And one day I was just praying again about it. I said, what is it, Lord? And all of a sudden I got this thought. I said, oh, why don't I do that? He said, go Google it. I said, I ran downstairs and started Googling it. I said, why men don't talk? And all this stuff rose up on my computer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. 
<laughs> and I said, nope, don't want that. I don't want no man's psychology. I don't want no psychiatry. Right. I don't want none of that. Mm-hmm. When I God's seen right. Bible.org, I seen Genesis. Mm-hmm. I seen Abraham. I seen uh, 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 Lot. I seen a bunch of the scriptural uh, stories about how uh, men were silent. And because of their silence, it brought in chaos and oh confusion. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And it wasn't the will of God. Right. It yes. wasn't the way it was supposed to be. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She got a divine revelation yes. that we want to bring to you Because I could tonight. not understand. You can't lead without speaking. You can't lead. God, when it was chaos and confusion and darkness, he spoke into the darkness. Yes. Yes. And he spoke the words of life. And God made man after his image Mm -hmm. and his likeness. So if he's made after the image and the likeness of God, then God wants him to speak into whatever is chaotic, confusing, uh, needs to have the order and things to go right because he created man for that purpose. So somewhere along the line, we'll talk a little bit about Mm -hmm. it. We're going to start off with uh, Adam in Genesis uh, 3-6, I Mm -hmm. believe. Mm -hmm. And it talked about how... Eve at the apple. But do we know that Adam was with her? Yeah. You when know, the serpent we, we, was talking? We skip right over that part. Talk about we it, read sister it, girl. About how when, the, um, when Satan came and tempted Eve and lied to Eve and she ate, it says, and her husband ate also who was with, with her. her. So while the enemy was talking to Eve, Adam was there listening and watching. And mm-hmm. didn't speak. Right. When God had given him the ability, like you just said, mm-hmm. to speak into chaos and confusion. And had given him the instructions. Yes. Of, of what to do. Right. And right. what they were supposed to do exactly. in the garden. Exactly. But wanna, when the wife gave it to him, he took of it. Yeah. And ate it. Well, he was standing right there. He even didn't even tell the devil to go somewhere. You know, where right. he was supposed to go. He was supposed go. to say, stop. In the name no. of the <laughs> <laughs> Help us, Jesus. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> Stop in the. <laughs> hey, Pastor Faye. <laughs> we just came out of Pastor Faye's 60th birthday party, so forgive us if we're a little silly and yeah. we're still living right, in the All right, get in the spirit, ladies. Get in the spirit. Right. Bring it back in. <laughs> okay. So I want to read these two paragraphs on the silence of Adam. We will never comprehend the depth of the fall until we understand the silence of Adam. Adam was created, like you said, to lead and to take the initiative. But the moment that he was challenged, he silently withdrew. Adam's failure actually started when he abdicated from the role for which God created him. He should have spoken creatively into the situation as God allowed him to do when he named the animals. Authority was given to him to rule. He failed Eve as her advocate when he didn't speak up for her. Yes. So when the enemy is speaking, mm-hmm. man has the power, the authority, yes, and the right to speak, interject. Interject. And speak to right speak into that. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because, because he can bring that peace. Priest. Right. Mm-hmm. He's the high he's priest the leader, of the house right? and the leader. And that's not happening. That's why women are frustrated, fearful, angry, upset. And then taking nagging, the role, taking the lead taking role. Taking the leadership mm-hmm. the whole nine yards. It's, all, it's revolve reversal. Mm-hmm. I have a friend of mine, she, she always like, I have a role reversal in my house. Because <laughs> she says she takes his part and he takes her part. And, and she knows it's not right. Mm-hmm. But it's something that has to be reversed by the power of the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Because the bottom line, God gave us the way it's supposed to be. But we got to tap into. And, and you need the wisdom of God. Yes. Yeah. To know how to reverse that in your house. Absolutely. If that's happening in your house and there's a role reversal and you're the one that's always speaking into the chaos and bringing the wisdom and bringing the way out and this is what we're gonna do, then mm-hmm. right. exactly. God has to give you wisdom to know how to turn that thing around. Do you think that women um, are afraid to uh, not do that, not speak into, or let me not, let me rephrase it. Do you think men say, okay, you know what? I don't have to do it, because she's doing it. Well, yeah, so it do. makes that's them exactly right. revert. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's exactly what happens. I knew a friend of mine years ago, the guy even told her, because she kept not figuring out, well, why is it all the time that I have to do this and do that? And, and he said, well, you know, because she finally got tired of it. Mm-hmm. And he just said, well, you do it. Why should I? Mm-hmm. 
And a lot of times, we, we maybe we don't think men don't move fast enough. They don't do this right or they don't do that right. But the, the thing is, if that man has got his relationship first and foremost with the Lord. Right. Because that woman, she may not always agree with him, but that doesn't mean that he still can't speak in this because maybe he don't want to hear the yelling and screaming or whatever mm-hmm. or the misunderstanding. Because if you disagree, you think it's an argument. Right. It doesn't necessarily have to be right. an argument. Right. It could just be a difference in how you're perceiving, how you're looking at it. Mm-hmm. And even with that, uh, the woman sees something totally different than the man. Because I know a lot of times with James and I, when we would be talking, we would be talking about something. I said, I said, well, what do you think about this? And he said, well, I, he say it his way and I say it my way. And who was ever the mediator would say, uh, we both saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. I couldn't see it. Because <laughs> it didn't sound like right. what you were saying, right? right. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, for if 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 that man that is uh, going in and having that proper relationship with the Lord, because actually, let, let me just read this one thing here, and I mm-hmm. think it'll help us out a lot here. It talks about the purpose of of the man. The purpose, God has created us with purpose. And the whole Bible is summed up with two commands. Mm -hmm. And that is to love God and love your neighbor. And the relationships, it it sums up the whole Lord in in that. Love your neighbor and love, and that's for the purpose of what? To love others, what? Mm -hmm. And to build relationships, to move into people's lives and help them move towards God. Mm -hmm. So we will find the most joy in life when we are doing this. But relationships are messy. How many times have we heard over and over and over, men are not relational? Mm-hmm. Well, how, how are you going to do get things done if you're not relating to your wife, your children, your coworkers, your, your employees, your, your congregation, your friends, mm-hmm. your enemy? I don't get, you have to have relationship. I think over All time, people have just adopted what they've heard over sure. and over and over exactly. again. And it's a lot. And they, and it they take it as truth. Right. And a compound. Exactly. That's exactly what it is because they they just assume. But I know that question just kept coming on me. Oh, I said, well, there's something wrong with this picture. Because that's not the original plan. That's right. not how men were created. They weren't mm-hmm. created to fight. Mm-hmm. They were called to bring order. Mm-hmm. into a chaotic situation. Mm-hmm. Even in the systems of the world we have, I'm not getting to politics enough, mm-hmm. but that even in that, they were called godly men, mm-hmm. called to speak into it, chaos, confusion, and all types of evil, to speak the wisdom, the words, and the lip, the, what is godly. Mm-hmm. Who's going to back them up? Right. God. 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 I want to read this real quick, Pastor. Mm-hmm. Go right ahead. Um, the true nature of manhood is to take the lead to get into action, to move towards the woman. As a result of the fall, men fail fail their wives. They want to be in control. They want to operate according to rules. Now they base their manliness on gifts and talents and not on their character. Right. Mm. That's the whole gist right there, the character. Mm -hmm. The crust of it all is the the character. Mm -hmm. They they, are strength. They are uh, the strong, silent type. Right, right, that right. John Wayne thought, yeah, or right. either you're like, yeah. you know. But now they now they turn to the nice, soft, <laughs> nice, kind, you know, and that's almost. <laughs> now you know, know, right. To one, <laughs> right, to one but one extreme to, to the pendulum. other, right. Right, instead of having, you well, know, God that has the man of compassion, the man of mercy, the man of sensitivity, but he's still strong and courageous. Because those are all characters powerful. of God. Those are mm-hmm. Jesus' characters, mm-hmm. absolutely. So if they and take man on was the created in the image, image of God. and the likeness of God. Mm-hmm. So that's when, if he takes on that that uh, image and the likeness of who created him, knowing who he is in Christ, mm-hmm. allowing God to be what he's been called to be in his life, then he's not going to be with that woman's, you know, uh, he has to move towards her in the relationship because he's really the one who has to pursue her and move towards her. Because you ever notice, let me ask you a question, ladies. Okay. You ever notice that if you get really upset about something, because we do, we, we, we emotional beings, and there are times we get too, you know, like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? Oh, Chuck, what are we going to do? Oh, James, I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, no, what are we going to do? You know, you know how we go. Yeah. And they'll just say, don't worry about it. We got this. Oh, we're going to take care of this. <sighs> you like, who, yeah? Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. I got this. Don't even worry about it. And they can just bring you right into it, calm mm-hmm. you right down. But then if you go there, say if we go there, blah, 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 and they don't say nothing, they walk another room, you're going off now. Because you're really going to escalate. Right. Mm-hmm. Why? Because 
Nobody speaking into that. Nobody, mm-hmm. yeah. Nobody speaking into that that he was called to speak it to calm you down. Mm-hmm. Yes. Speak peace. And right. then what's so beautiful about it is that the the wife, the woman is called to be that helpmate. Mm-hmm. Right. Or that one that's called alongside to help. Mm-hmm. And so as he's bringing the order and speaking the will of God, the purpose mm-hmm. of God, she comes alongside to help. Help and just to execute yep. whatever yeah. needs to be executed. And so it's important men that you listen to your wives Mm -hmm. because many times it is it's the voice of God Mm -hmm. speaking to help in the situation right Mm -hmm. and you bring the order you speak it and then she comes along to assist carry it out out. yeah Yeah. because if she's got a relationship with the Lord she's really going to hear Jesus through through you Mm -hmm. she's going to hear God exactly exactly and if she doesn't know the Lord, or she's not maybe as a, that relationship that is, you know, like that, but then she'll be won over by his godliness. Yes, mm-hmm. because he's loving her yes. mm-hmm. like, like Christ, Christ loves, loves the church. The church. Yes. He's not moving away from her. He's moving towards her. He's almost like loving the out of her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got it? So that's his role as a leader, as an uh, initiator. hmm as a godly man, is to bring order, to bring God's wisdom, peace, in any, whether it's a, a, a husband role, a father role, a, uh, in a work role, is a, is a man of God in a congregation, whatever. Mm-hmm. That is his role. But when that's not happening, then they take on all other types of uh, ways of how to be the, there's the, uh, they call the needy man, then there's the tough man, mm-hmm. and then there's the godly man. Those mm-hmm. are three types of men. Mm-hmm. And they figure, you know, they don't know what really their role is. And if you don't know, if you don't know what your role is and how to relate to to the Creator, the one who made you, right? What are you gonna do? You're gonna be a little frustrated. So is it that the the men will they'll then they know or will know what to say, but they just don't say it. A lot of times they will back off, yeah. right? Because they don't feel like, oh, I don't want to hear her mouth again. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I know what she's gonna say, but that's okay because if they Really, the, the, every Adam had a relationship with the Lord first. He didn't have mm-hmm. it with his wife. Say that again in the camera. Adam had a relationship with the Lord first. <laughs> <laughs> Not no. with his wife. Because, see, God was already preparing him for his wife. Yes. Eve. So he had an intimate relationship with the Lord. And if you got that going on with the Lord, man of God, mm-hmm. then that... The Lord's going to give you heads up on how to minister to her, how to treat her, how to mm-hmm. love her, how to serve her. She'll be the best thing that ever happened to mm-hmm. you. You'll stand up one day and you'll thank God. And she'll thank God for you, for being patient and caring and kind and allowing Jesus to be manifested through your life. Because mm-hmm. your life is so precious in the sight of God. And everything you do is unto the living God. Because God loved us unconditionally. And that's how we are t- Christ being a uh, uh, Christ man, being uh, loving his wife as Christ loved the church. Mm-hmm. Christ loving the church when we was in our uh, stuff, our Darkness sin, and, yeah. acting crazy, mm-hmm. acting weird. But God loved us and loved us and wooed us and pursued us. And mm-hmm. and he, he and we're redeemed from everything. So, so even if he feels like she's not the best thing that's ever happened, if he loves her like that, She'll become. She's gonna become the best thing. Every, because it's she'll just become be, she'll become speaks. exactly what he saw in her or wanted in her or desires mm-hmm. in her to be. Mm-hmm. But that's his responsibility as a man, mm-hmm. a man of God, to 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 pursue, to to woo, and to to get the wisdom on how to to serve this woman, how to minister to her, mm-hmm. how to be all that he's been called to be to her as mm-hmm. a man. Mm-hmm. And when he does that. He's going to have that help because what you put in a woman, she's a, what is she? She's a, a, a incubator. 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 Mm-hmm. So what you put in is what you're going to get out. Yeah, what you said and was good. When, that she becomes what women, he speaks. When, when your husband starts to do this, don't criticize what he does. Because right. mm-hmm. right. I think sometimes men will want to do things, but when they start, you know, the, the woman may criticize it or say, well, now you know that's not the way I like that or whatever. Right. And then... Um, the man kind of retreats and says, oh, okay, well, well you do Well, even if she says that, he should not retreat. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, Brothers. that's, see, and that's, somebody's got to stand. Get your muscle if up. She's, if she's acting like that, if she's doing that, 
then he needs to get wisdom from mm-hmm. God. How do, okay, Lord, you gave me this woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you gave me this woman. <laughs> so he he doesn't see what happens is the enemy wants him to retreat mm-hmm. and, retreat, and uh, you and know what? Just stop I'm tired of it. it. Stop I'm just trying. sick of it. Yeah. I'm, I just can't handle it. And then you have a problem in your home because now you've allowed the enemy to take over your house. Mm-hmm. And then women, it's so important that when when you get information, like as we're talking, you're getting information about why men don't talk, where it came from. But it's important that you don't use the Word of God to beat yes. that man over the head with it. Yes. Because we can do that and do it really good. All right. Because we know something, we learn, you know, we hear something, and then we can say, you know, I, I, I think I've even done it before. So, mm-hmm. well, if you're supposed to be loving me like Christ loves the church, I can't imagine Christ just walking in another room and not <laughs> yeah. me what I'm talking <laughs> Oh, help us, Jesus. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it happens. All of us do it. <laughs> I can't imagine Christ, Christ just man. hanging up on me or not answering my phone call. <laughs> Thank God that Christ answers when I call. Well, see, and that's why the word says <laughs> women are to submit to their husbands as fit in the Lord. Mm-hmm. And yes. being fit in the Lord, that means even though we may get upset, angry, mm-hmm. a little, then we have to say, okay, okay, Lord, okay, God, help me with this. You know, we want to acknowledge God because we're still responsible for He is our first and foremost, even before our spouses. God, right? Mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So we still, so instead of nagging Him because it, we're told not to, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I say, okay, Lord, hold my tongue. Thank you, Jesus. And that's where the trusting God comes right, in. Right, coming in, trusting God and, and allowing God to deal with Him. And, you know, and, and He praying, will. Praying, praying, praying for your husband, praying for that one in your life mm-hmm. just you know keep it in a matter of prayer yeah because if you're prayerful and you have an intimate in relationship with the lord the peace of god will start taking you over mm-hmm. and then you'll go into your role as the warm god says in the word women to be silent mm-hmm. as you're learning how to be silent and not a meek and quiet spirit meek, you know, he'll Which start is what happens is a great price right mm-hmm. what happens that man will start coming to that it's just something spiritual about it. But if he thinks, it's like, because they don't want to hear it. They don't, they're not there to receive it, you know, in that capacity. So is it fair to say that men don't talk because the enemy has stolen their voice? Their voice. I, or they've I, given their voice yeah. I, I to believe the it, Well, that started in Genesis. Exactly. It's destruction right. came to the man and the woman in Genesis. Because it was Abraham. the enemy that came to deceive. Look mm-hmm. at Abraham. What would happen when he listened to uh, Sarah? Mm-hmm. They have a, a war, but Israel uh, and, and Arab today, is it, right. was it the two countries? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Today, because he listened to the voice of his wife. It talks to about have it this in, baby. In, in, mm-hmm. um, in, in the, uh, what, is it Genesis? Genesis. It's it's because Genesis. Abraham mm-hmm. had received the promise from God. Right. right. It was to Abraham that God spoke. Right. Isn't that something? Even and the, he came and... T- <laughs> even, <laughs> even with Adam, right? Didn't God speak to Adam? Yes. God gave Adam the instruction about the garden right. and the trees that they were not supposed to right. partake mm-hmm. of. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. And so God spoke to Abraham and gave him the promise. Right. And then God even would reiterate it from time to time throughout all that 25 years. And he didn't speak to his wife and, and say, the, no, right? no, that's and not so what God Sarah says. So said, what happened? You, you know, go into Hagar. More problems mm-hmm. in nations, in relationships. Because if he would have said, if Abraham would have said, Sarah, honey, listen, I heard the voice of God. Right. And I know what God said to me. And although it seems like it's not going to happen, mm-hmm. right. I know what God said. Mm-hmm. And we can't go that way. We have to obey the voice of God. And that woman, it was just a lot of, in some instances, she'll just back off and quiet down mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. God just spoke. Maybe he secretly yeah. had a doubt. Maybe there was a doubt there that maybe God won't do it. I'm well, thinking. Well, it could be. Know. You know, you never know you never why know. people do what they do. <laughs> Father the faithful. <laughs> Now for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> with a glass well, he of water. Too faithful with it. Does the Bible say he was the father yeah. of faith? Yeah. Well, but he still had the baby from Hagar. That's Thank not a lot of faith you. right there. Because <laughs> he listened to the voice of his, uh, his wife. Yeah. So what it means, even if you're the mother or the father of faith, you can 
you still can still stumble. Sure. stumble. Absolutely. Well, I guess the you main. You can still be human. Yeah. And the main thing, I guess, the point we're all really trying to make, because we're still all learning, mm -hmm. and we're still, like I always say, we're in earth and vessels learning spiritual things, mm -hmm. and it's what we don't know that's really hurting us. Mm -hmm. And we get so frustrated, so irritated, aggravated, and fearful, because we, we're like, what is going on? Why is this happening? But God's got a solution and an answer for everything. Absolutely. And I know that God created us, and as men and women of God, we are not called to be in a home where there's misery, no talk, and no communication, argues, strife, and division. That's mm -hmm. not the author and the finisher right. of our faith. Mm -hmm. So there is an answer. And that answer really comes right back to each one of us having that, that intimacy and that relationship with the living God and knowing who we are in Christ so we can be that help meet to that man. Mm -hmm. And he can be that, that uh, type of Christ to us as his as his out uh, the wife mm -hmm. so now we're operating in the covenant because mm -hmm. it is a covenant and it's a godly thing mm -hmm. but that requires us going back to the foot of the cross mm -hmm. each and every one of us it's not just a man right it's both it's women as well right. then then you can have that trust and wait on the lord while he's growing or while the holy spirit's dealing with him that don't mean you lay down roll over and don't do nothing as a woman mm -hmm. But what you're doing is you're getting insight, wisdom, and direction. Mm -hmm. You're not flipping and going crazy and making mistakes and speaking and yelling and screaming and driving him in the roof. Mm -hmm. And now you're all making wrong decisions and you wonder why your, your house is chaotic and crazy. Like Pastor Gary, that teaching he used to have about the wife just Don't, ducking. Yeah, and that's what basically I think what he was trying and, to And allowing say. the man to speak. Right. Allowing him to say, even if you think in your mind, well, that's not right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary, not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. Well, yeah. You, but you know what? What happens is when they're saying something, because a lot of times they'll say, "I'm not." You'll sit there and like, "Okay, Lord, all right, I'm just listening." <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, you gotta start <laughs> worshiping inside. Yeah, because you know the enemy wants you to go there. God wants you to get quiet mm -hmm. and listen and receive and and when it's time to speak, they'll listen to you because you don't. You're not, yeah. you know. Just quiet yourself when yeah. your husband does talk. Right. Quiet right yourself, yourself and really listen. Listen, and then the Holy Spirit will give say. you maybe something to say or speak into the situation. Mm -hmm. Because we, we're to submit one to the other. Mm -hmm. It's not a one-way street. In right. the fear of God. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, so, praise the Lord. <laughs> so, men don't talk because the, they've allowed the enemy to steal their voice. But God wants you to take it back, not in a ruthless, controlling way, dominant way, not in a dominant way, but in a godly, in a godly way, character filled. Yes. This is the the opposite of man's responsibility. Well, understand the struggle in men and in, in, in women. And it says understand the natural tendency to want to step in and take over Genesis uh, three and 16 as uh -huh. women. That's natural for us to do that. Don't try it. It will only seem to work for a little while, but the end, chaos will rule. Trust God and wait, as we talked about. Mm -hmm. That is the opposite of man's responsibility, which is trust God and move, which means to speak. Mm -hmm. That's a man moving. Because mm -hmm. okay. if you're speaking, you're moving into what God is doing in that situation, to driving out the enemy. Mm -hmm. Because you have the, that man has the authority to drive out the enemy. Mm -hmm. That's, oh, let me start. But anyway, Hallelujah. then is the, then our responsibility is to trust God as women and be what? Silent. Be what? Silent. So we got role reversal going on. So men should be talking more than we are. Well, they should be speaking more into the situations. I don't mm -hmm. think it necessarily, I don't necessarily talk mean. more. Mm -hmm. No, because they, you know, they don't, women talk, we're multitasking. We talk, yeah. we, do, we got a lot of things. But when it comes down to him being the head or being the leader, uh, to be able to be able to s communicate, to be the leader, whether it's in a in a, in a work environment, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, in a home environment with your children, with mm -hmm. your wife, then if they have that relationship, that wisdom, and and and, and that first and foremost, that uh, relationship with God, mm -hmm. the Lord, then who's the head over Him, mm -hmm. and then whatever's under Him, everything starts lining up because He's got the authority. He's been given the authority. God left the authority with mm -hmm. the man on the earth. It's unfortunately that a lot of men just don't understand their authority. Mm -hmm. We as sometimes don't understand who we are in Christ, mm -hmm. even though we are, well, I call them well-meaning, sincere Christians, 
but we have no clue mm -hmm. as to who we really are. And then when do we act like who we are in Christ, women, men, men and women of authority, men and women walking in the integrity of the word, the will of God, the wisdom of God, then really we do look weird on this earth. Mm -hmm. Then we may be a little ostracized and talked about and put aside, but it's okay because God's gonna still have your back. Mm -hmm. He's gonna defend you. He's gonna watch over you. He's gonna watch your house. He's gonna take, that's what God is saying to us, to trust mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And that's all this whole thing is about with men. Come back to their first love. Mm -hmm. Learn of me. I'll show you what she needs. Mm -hmm. I'll show you those areas that you have no clue. You can't do it like mother and father. Oh. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> show you how to show you how to be okay. the man that you're supposed to be. Our time is our time is up. Yeah, and it's I have going. a question. I have a question for you, Janelle. What is it? Why are you wearing those sneakers? <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> well, you forgot all about it. <laughs> I did. Well, I was running out of the house and forgot. I had my sneakers on. I forgot to put my shoes on, but my feet feel really comfortable. So. Hey, they match my pants. So we want you to know that we're women just like you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we forget Thank our you shoes. for watching our show. <laughs> God bless you. And remember, you are grace for everything that you face. God bless you.